If you want no patience in your life, you better listen. Okay, give me a scripture, sir. Let me tell you. Give me a scripture. Listen, bro. Listen to me, or you can have right on. For you made this case, man. That's a lie on a bit of hell. Okay, prove it. Prove me wrong. Okay, now back to Sister Toto. Sister Toto, now let's get back to you, right? We was taught, and we was taught going to straight that way, that Mary was born, what, by the Holy Spirit. That's what they told us, right? But let's see if that's true according to the Bible. Let's go. Now we can take it slow with you, so you can get a proper understanding that that was a false doctrine, okay? That was what? Instituted under what? The Catholic Church. Okay, they produced that. Okay, Immaculate Conception. And a lot of people in the Catholic Church doesn't even know what the word Immaculate really means. You understand? They don't even know what it means. It means that Mary was con was looking at as a deity, or Mary was, was conceived to say she was without sin. That's what it means to be a maculate. You understand? It has nothing to do with Christ, but that's how they put a twist on it to make it sound good. The Virgin Mary had a baby boy. You understand? All of these things is to keep us what in sleep. Okay, that's false religion. That's false teaching. Read. Let's prove it. The Book of Matthew, chapter one. Let me start at one or sixteen. Start from sixteen. The Book of Matthew, Matthew one, chapter, one, chapter one. one and verse one. Read. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ. You hear that, sister? This is the book of the generation of Jesus Christ. Now, let me ask you a simple question. In order to generate, right? Like, when you get married to your husband, and you all generate, right? When you all generate, you all gonna procreate, and what you all gonna have together when you all two come together? Kids, right? All right, now, so this is saying the book of the generation of Jesus Christ. So it means that Jesus Christ must have had a what? A mother and a what? and a father thank you very much straightforward you understand? that's why it's called the book of the generation of jesus christ right this is his genealogy his bloodline okay read we don't know jump to verse 16. jump to verse 16. verse 16. and jacob begat joseph uh-huh the husband of mary remember we read that earlier sister read of whom was born jesus who is called christ so who is christ's father sister tulsa joseph thank you very much okay that is Christ's earthly father. You understand? Whether you want to believe it or not, Mary and Joseph had sex, just right. like any two normal people would have sex. Right. And they had born the child, what? Who we call, call what? Christ, or Emmanuel, or the anointed one, which is Jesus. All right? But uh, across the road, if you have something to say, approach the camp and we'll deal with you. All right? Read. The book of Romans, chapter 1 and verse 3. Read. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, right? Which was made uh -huh. of the seed of David. What is the way seed deals with? Sperm. All right? It says it was made with the seed. Seed deals with what? Sperm. Okay, read again, bro. Concerning his son Jesus Christ, our uh -huh. Lord, uh -huh. which was made of the seed of David, which was made of the seed of David, according to the flesh, according to the flesh, because that's why Christ was born. Christ came through the fleshly line. He didn't come through the spiritual line. All right, hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Sir, hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We do respect. Okay, let's give respect, though. Hold on. You are an older man, right? But, 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 but you, but you are older man, sir. So you are older man, though. But hold on. Okay. Look at your hair and look at my hair. You older than me, right? My hair. Listen, listen to me. You better know it. If okay. you want no patience in your life, you better listen. Okay, give me a scripture, sir. Let me tell you. Give me a scripture. Listen, bro. Listen to me, or you can have going on. For you made the statement that that uh, Joseph is, is, is Jesus' son. That's a lie on a bit of hell. Okay, prove it. Prove me wrong. Prove it. Give me a scripture. The, the, the scripture, the scripture says. Give me a scripture. Listen to me, I'll shut your mouth listen. Okay, bro. Calm down, down. calm down, calm, calm, calm down. Don't tell me calm down. Go ahead. Doctor. Okay, calm That's down, though. Stupidness. Go ahead, let's see. And the devil likes us. But you ain't called one scripture yet. Listen, Mary never had no sex with Joseph okay. or Jesus. Okay, so what's the scripture? Never. What's the scripture never. to prove that? that? You should know the scripture. You take No, the okay, now let me give you a scripture. You All right, listen. Me. Listen now. Listen. All right. Bro, 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 which was made uh, of the seed of David. What does it mean to be made of the seed of David? He came through 
came to the genealogy of David. Okay. Yes. So. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So. So what is sex? What is sex? Well, I'm the boss of your boss. You know, if you want, if you want, if you want to teach, if you want to teach, you get your own camp. Now we run this out here. You understand? This, this, uh, but, uh, this, uh, this government, this government will be on eight people out the government, bro. We on government. I ask you, that's a lot of land. Okay. So of course, I want to ask you to move this property in. I mean, put the law on you. All right. Read, bro. Read. The book of Romans, read. chapter one and verse three, read. concerning his son. Jesus Christ, my Lord, Are we? which was made as the seed of David. Don't tell you, that's the Which was made the seed of David, okay, which is the sperm line, read. According to the flesh. According to the what? To the flesh. According to the flesh, that's not, not according to the spirit. I get now, now, give me, give me, give me, give me for you, Sean. Give me, give me for you, Sean, chapter four. Yes, sir. Listen, that's for you, that's for you. That's for you, that's for you. That's for you, listen, sis, that's, that's for him. Now, he said the spirit, right? Now, listen, watch it. Okay, first John chapter 4, read. The book of first John chapter 4 and verse 1, read. Beloved, uh -huh. believe not every spirit. So the Bible says believe not every spirit. Because we got, we got a full spirit here right now. Read. But try the spirit. So I said try the spirit. I can't be trying about the spirit now. Read. Whether they are of God. Whether they are of God. Whether they are of God. Read. Because many false prophets. Many what? Many false prophets. That's a false prophet or a false liar right there. That's how I'm teaching false who doesn't know the Bible, read, are gone out into the world, have gone into the world, read, hereby know ye the Spirit of God. This is how you know when someone's speaking the Spirit of God or speaking the truth. Read, every spirit uh -huh. that confesseth that Jesus Christ uh -huh. is come in the flesh. So we say that Christ came in the flesh. Remember you told us earlier that Christ came into the Spirit. We tell you Christ came to the flesh, read, is of God. Is of God. Because when you teach that Christ is born, what, of a man and a woman, you understand, bro? That is of God. You understand? Read. And every spirit uh -huh. that confesses not that not which is him, which is that false prophet who just been here, who said that Jesus is born to the spirit, read, that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, uh -huh. is not of God. It's not of God. So just how many times you believe in mark the conception, you understand? Mary not being get, get impregnated by the Holy Ghost, that's a false spirit. You understand? That's a false doctrine. That is not of God. God have or God is not ordaining that. You understand? God God ain't dealing with that. Any more on that? Yes, sir. Read. And this is that spirit uh -huh. of Antichrist. See, that's the spirit of Antichrist. Why? Because they're against this Bible. You understand? See, he against this Bible. He don't know no truth. All he knows is a bunch of theory coming screaming, like, trying to run us off the property. Why you run us off the property if he teaches God's way? Because you know why? The truth hurts. Okay? Give me John 8 and Let's see what the Bible says about the truth. Because all of us say we got this truth, right? There's only one truth, bro. You understand? There's only one truth. Give me John 4 and 16 first. Then give me John 8 and 32. Right, there's only one truth, okay? And we can call hey, all the other teachers, all the false religion, being cast down all those false doctrines, okay? Read. The book of John, chapter 8 and verse 32. Read. And ye shall know the truth. You shall know the what? The truth. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The truth shall 14, make you 16. free, sister. What is the truth? What is the truth? Because everyone said they got the truth, right? Let's see what the truth is according to the Bible, okay? Because there's only one truth. Okay, sister, tell, 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 there's only one truth, sister. Sister, the Roman Catholic Church, that's a false church. That's right. Come out of that church. You understand? What church you gonna do, bro? Same church? Come out of those Catholic Church. Okay? I can give you another scripture to prove that the Roman Catholic Church. You go to the Roman Catholic Church too, sis? What's your name? Angeline. Lazarin? Angeline. Angeline, what church you go to? Baptist. Baptist is a false religion. Let me prove it. See it right here? Come on, your sis. Baptist. See this here? What you see here? Okay, Pentecostal, Jehovah's Witness, right? Adventist, Mormon, Baptist, your, your church. Right? There's only one God, but they don't teach the right God. Right. They, teach them. they teach that God there. Right. That's the God they teach. See, they don't teach this God here. This is the one God here. Right. You know about this? Oh, this is the real God here. Okay, well, that's the God you gotta believe. You understand? That's the real God. That there's the false God. Because see, that's what we learn inside the Baptist church. Right. That's what you learn inside the Anglican church and the Catholic church and the Pentecostal. You understand that Jesus is a white man with what? Blowing hair and blue eyes. You understand what I'm saying? That That's false. You see, this here is a false teaching. Okay? This, see, this is the one true God. Now we can read out the Bible. Let's see the Bible true. God said, let every man be a liar and God, what? God be true. Okay, so let's read it. The book of Psalm, chapter 119 and verse 142. This is for truth, listen. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. So God says his righteousness, which is his, his words, his laws, read. 
Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Read. And thy law is the truth. What is the truth, sister? The law is the truth. That's why when we tell you that the Jehovah's Witness, the Pentecostal, the Anglican churches, all of them are false religion. That's right. We put it from the Bible. Because why? They don't keep no law, sister. They, they all celebrate what? Most of them, 90% of them celebrate in church on Sunday. Sunday is a false day of worship. For all the outside of worship out there, can you hear me? Sunday is a false day of worship. That's right. All right? Okay, the Sabbath starts at Friday evening to Saturday evening sundown. Most of y'all people who say y'all going to church on Sunday, you're shopping on the Sabbath. You understand? You're buying on the Sabbath. You understand? You're cooking on the Sabbath. Right. All of that is sin. You understand, bro? You're not supposed to do these things on the Sabbath. The Sabbath is a holy day. You understand? We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.